What's up guys? So as you guys know, AMD's Vega series didn't do so hot. And by that, I mean that it didn't do anything. AMD 56 and 64 did match the performance of some high-end NVIDIA GPUs, but there really was no need to buy Vega as opposed to the 1080 or other NVIDIA offerings, especially with Vega drawing more power. AMD didn't really bring ultimate value or really good performance to the Vega series. If anything, they were able to match NVIDIA, and as a result, it didn't accomplish anything. If you ask AMD superfans, then they'll tell you that Vega was never meant to beat NVIDIA, but instead just match it. However, they have to realize that they have to provide something superior to the competition in order to attract consumers. Finally, the last blow to Vega was the mining craze, and this effectively put an end to any hope of Vega beating out NVIDIA. Now, AMD fans are claiming that AMD Navi is where it's at, and that is how AMD will outperform NVIDIA. So when is AMD Navi expected to come out, and what can we expect from Navi? Well, according to rumors, there is expected to be two Navi cards. The single and dual GPU card with Navi 10 and Navi 10 times 2 The single variant is rumored to be produced in the 7 nanometer process, which will deliver more than 50 teraflops of half precision performance and 30 teraflops of single precision. The RAM rumors are all over the place with this being rumored to possess anywhere from 16 gigabytes of RAM all the way to 128 gigabytes of RAM. But that is supposedly rumored to possess next gen memory, whatever that is. By this, they probably mean GDDR6 memory. The TDP is predicted to be from 150 to 300 watts. Finally, this is expected to take advantage of PCIe 4.0, but it is not expected to release till 2019. So it is still a while out. Next up, for the dual variant, this is rumored to be absolutely monstrous. This car is also rumored to be part of the 7 nanometer process. However, this is rumored to deliver more than 100 teraflops of half precision and 60 teraflops of single precision. This one is supposed to have anywhere from 32 to 256 gigabytes of next gen memory. Finally, just like the single variant, this is rumored to utilize PCIe 4.0 and this card is also not expected to come out till 2019. Well, these specs sound absolutely insane, but usually rumors don't hold out, so just make sure to keep that in mind. While these specs seem insane, NVIDIA may have something just as good or even better with their Volta GPUs, so that's something to consider as well. If you guys are interested in Volta, then make sure to check out my dedicated video on Volta. But anyways, as it is evident, Navi is still really mostly in the dark, but hopefully it really is as great as it is expected to be because competition is always good for the consumer. But unfortunately, these cards aren't coming out anytime soon. and for Right now, we have NVIDIA Ampere, Turing, and probably the AMD 600 series to fill the void. AMD may also come out with a mining dedicated card, because as we can see, AMD is very good at making mining cards, and mining probably makes them a lot of revenue and sales, so they wouldn't want to lose that market or the gaming market, so they probably will come out with a mining dedicated GPU as well as a gaming dedicated GPU, just like what is expected out of NVIDIA. But that's pretty much it for what you can expect from AMD as far as GPUs go in the next year or two. Well guys, what do you guys think about AMD Navi? Do you think it will bring the competition to Nvidia and make them sweat like Intel right now? Or do you think that all this is just over exaggerated speculations from AMD fangirls? I do read all my comments and I am curious as to what you guys think, so make sure to post your thoughts down below. Also, if you guys are interested in any of the soon approaching GPUs like Volta, Turing, Ampere, or AMD 600 series, then make sure to check out my videos on each of them. But that's all I have for you guys this time. If you guys like this video, then make sure to drop a like on this video. And if you guys loved it and would like to see more videos just like this, then make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. But until next time, bye.